Hey, how is everybody doing? Um, today I'm going to have a look at the Yamaha mixer the, and that's the Yamaha AG03. And that's a really nice little entry level mixer. And maybe I can zoom in a little bit for you here. Basically, uh, what the nice thing is about the mixer, it's not just a little tiny mixer, but it's also a USB audio interface. And that gives you like a lot of flexibility for example, when doing podcasts and uh, YouTube live streams, or even if you're just doing like me product reviews and you want to add a voiceover later on or do a screen recording. So maybe we're just gonna unbox this in part one of this video and then I'm gonna do a sound check. But first let's really quickly run over the specs. Uh, Yamaha claims this is a high resolution 24 bit and 192 kilohertz uh, two-track audio recorder with quality preamps. Now we're going to put this to the test because I'm going to connect two different microphones to the mixer and the first uh, microphone that I'm going to connect is like a dynamic microphone such as this and the second is going to be like a condenser microphone such as this uh, Exelvan BM800. It's a really uh, budget-friendly and budget-friendly entry-level microphone that uh, has become kind of popular recently. So that way you really get like a nice overview of what uh, of the performance of this mixer and the quality. And also one interesting feature I want to point out that this mixer has is over here. Uh, Yamaha calls this this uh, famous, I mean, I don't know whether it's famous, but it at, at least on the on these other mixers that Yamaha produces, they also have this one knob compression and they brought this on these USB interface mixers as well. So basically you can switch on compression or EQ or even in effect and then uh, regulate this over here and also fine tune it on the computer with a special piece of software that I'm also gonna show you how to install and use. And yeah, if you look over here, here's where it says the one touch uh, compression. And that can be actually very, very useful if you, if you, let's say, want to record a voiceover or doing a podcast. To have compression, in my, thing, in my uh, opinion, is like really a must have. You must have some kind of compression, um, whether it's like with a separate plugin or, or here or in your post processing. And yeah, guys, if you haven't already done so, make sure to check out the other useful videos on my channel that more and more people are already benefiting from. And maybe I'll see you as a subscriber as well or even in one of my online training courses. So let's jump right in and do an unboxing of this really cool fancy mixer. Um, right off the bat, I really have to say I like the design. Oh, what the heck is this? Of course, Yamaha is a Japanese company and maybe you know that in Japan, these uh, anime kind of manga type of things are really popular. I don't know why they would put that into an export version. Uh, a little bit weird. Um, but uh, yeah, you have the manual basically, and we're not interested in this manga stuff. We're interested in the mixer and its performance, and that's what I'm gonna check out for you guys right now. Let me remove this right here. Carefully take this out. And that's almost basically it. There's not much in the box. You really only have this manual, this crazy manga picture, and uh, the mixer and the USB cable. So why don't I plug this in the computer, power it up, and show you all the features that it has. It's kind of a really cool mixer right here. Uh, so yeah, maybe what I'm just gonna do, um, maybe I zoom in a little bit. Um, I think a good idea would be if I just take the mixer and plug in one of these microphones that I wanted to compare it to, and then um, just talk into the mic so you can hear it and show you the software features. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a very basic uh, mixer. You can connect one microphone, or you can connect an instrument, like a guitar or a keyboard you would connect here. Then if you use a dynamic microphone, you probably have to put the gain up really high. That's my suspicion. Um, we're gonna test this right now. And if you have a condenser mic, that's also really nice. It has the 48 volt phantom power if you have a condenser mic, that's something you will definitely need. This is also kind of like really interesting. I saw that um, right here, you can connect, uh, maybe zoom in a little bit even more, a headset. That was kind of interesting. Uh, 
I think it's kind of unusual the way they have the set up the mixer, but I can really see like people who are gamers, for example, and they want to stream their their live stream. Or maybe if you use TeamSpeak, that might be really that might be interesting. And also these functions that you can have uh, the channels dry come into your computer for recording, or you can have an input mix, or you can even loop back the signal from the computer because you can not only uh, take these two channels right here and send them to the computer but there's also a signal from the computer so basically it, it works also like a sound card you can plug in your headphones here or your speakers here and uh, that basically changes the uh, wiring but i'm going to show this to you right now so let's just connect this and then maybe you understand it a little bit better if you see it live in action and guys, one thing I want to point out, check out how tiny that mixer is. That's a postcard right here. And that's my hand. It's not bigger than a hand. I mean, that's a really compact mixer. I mean, if you're on the go, or if you want to use that with your notebook, I think that's really cool, this compact size. You have really compact size and all the knobs, basic functionality. I really like the design and also the build quality. I mean, okay, this is plastic, but all oh, this is kind of metal casing. So that seems to be pretty sturdy and rugged. And even look at the screws so the, the build quality looks really exceptional so guys i set up the computer let's just plug in the usb i mean this thing gets powered by a usb that's kind of like all you really need and then yeah maybe what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug in now i'm not maybe i'm just going to plug in now this uh, dynamic microphone and I like the shure sm58 it's like a really microphone classic i mean if you don't know by now i mean it's like one of the most popular microphones in the world so I'm always like like to use this for the reference sound in just in case no I did not skimp on the cable this is like a really high quality German cable summer cable and uh, that is also the signal path is really the best I could possibly choose to demo this for you so let's power this right up can you see there's a, like a, a kind of light that comes on I think that looks really fancy Probably it looks even fancier if in the dark, but uh, it gives you visual indication that you switch it on. And then, yeah, make sure when you switch on the, mic, uh, the mixer that everything is like turned down. And then now I'm gonna jump to the computer and I'm, turn up, turn, I'm gonna turn up the knob and you're gonna see the difference in sound. So guys, now what I did, I connected the, the dynamic microphone, the Shure SM58, this is one of my favorite mics to the Yamaha AG03 mixer. And you can see right here, um, right now I don't have any compression applied and I had to turn this uh, this gain almost all the way up. And yeah, what do you think? How does the mic preamp sound? All the sound that you hear right now is, is from the mic preamp and I have like this really high quality cable. So you have the perfect reference sound. Um, maybe I can turn it up a little bit higher so you notice the difference i mean that's almost full you in a usual in a usual scenario i think you wouldn't uh, make this any higher and you see you see the signal is higher you shouldn't go right but uh basically from my testing what i'm seeing right now is i would say the preamp works well with dynamic microphones but of course, if you want that really super signature sound, you should really check out my other tutorial of this crazy uh, tube preamp because that takes it to a whole nother level. But that's for later and in my other video. So without further ado, I think what I'm gonna do now that you have heard this sound sample, I'm gonna switch over to the condenser mic so you can see the performance of the mixer with a condenser mic and the phantom power. And then we're gonna look at the software real quick of this mixer because the software is also really cool. I told you compression is always the key to having awesome sound on your uh, on your recordings. And yeah, before I forget, um, if you switch out the mic, make sure to turn the volume all the way down and then a power of the power of the device. Maybe you don't want any any mess here. So to turn all the knobs way down. So hey guys, now I switched over to the to a. Uh, to a condenser microphone and as you might already notice um by the way this is a xl van bm800 that i previously reviewed so you can even check out this microphone you can check out all these uh if you're looking for gear you can check out the the, the unboxing and the detailed review uh, of this and you can see the dynamic microphone 
super sensitive. Like I switched the, I turned everything off and then engaged the phantom power, powered it on with the knots down and then dialed in the volume. That's the way you're supposed to do it. And you see, this is not even on the three o'clock position. It's on a 12 o'clock position. And the fader, that's a really nice fader, by the way, uh, is maybe on, on, on half, on 50%. And the sound is really um, kind of high. So I think the condenser microphone is now the perfect candidate for testing the awesome uh, compression function. And let's see whether we can make the sound even nicer. So guys, now you see the really awesome Yamaha software that you can use that, that comes with this mixer. And basically that gives you a built-in compression feature, which I'm now gonna turn on. And I also noticed, um, you really gotta be careful with the mixer that the signal doesn't come in too hard. So yeah, guys, obviously I'm in expert mode. I hope the, the sound signal is not distorted. And basically what you see there, the compressor, what it does is um, usually you, when you talk into a microphone, you have a certain dynamic range and the dynamic range is kind of high. And when you get closer to the microphone, obviously you're closer to where the sound gets recorded. So you might have peaks in volumes, or if you lean back a little bit, uh, the signal will become uh, less loud and that's usually a normal thing like you moving around you raise your voice you have a, a place where you talk a little bit more quietly and in your recording it can a little bit mess up the sound if it's if the dynamic range is like too high so the compressor like flattens it out a little bit and makes the sound much nicer that's why i really like this feature and you can see always if i hit the threshold of minus 24 db uh, the compressor takes away a little bit. So it's kind of like as if someone sits there and constantly moves the volume knob and that gives you like a nice, even smooth sound. Having said that, I think if you use this mixer with a dynamic mic, no big deal. But as soon as you plug in a condenser microphone in the Yamaha mixer and you're not careful with the volume settings, you can create a distorted signal for sure. And, uh, yeah, what else can I say? Um, you have an effect feature. I could switch the effect on right now and then you would have all this echoey sounds and stuff like that. But I think there are other reviews that show that. Uh, I'm not gonna dive too much into it. Okay guys, that's kind of weird now. I switched from expert into easy mode and for some strange reason it just uh, applied the effect. Maybe I wanna dial this down a little bit because that sounds kind of weird. Um, yeah, like the, the moment you switch back to this easy mode, you have sort of uh, like extremely simplified controls and test, test, test. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure whether I'm a fan of these easy simplified controls. Um, I would, if you ask me, I would stick to the expert mode. And yeah, guys, what way to better test a Yamaha mixer than with a Yamaha bass? Um, now I plug this bass into the into the mixer. Let's check out how this sounds. And for that, I'm quickly going to mute the volume of the microphone. So let's quickly summarize what I've showed you so far. Um, I really uh, unboxed this mixer and I showed you the main things you have to pay attention to, um, what's feature-wise, and then I tested this Shure SM58, which is kind of like a really industry standard microphone. That's great for reference testing and you hear the sound of this dynamic microphone. Next I went on and I showed you this Exelvan BM800 condenser microphone because that's like a, there are a lot of these entry-level microphones on the market and I'll have a separate review for this if you want to see an in-depth walkthrough of this. And we found out that the Yamaha mixer performs great with both these types of microphones, the dynamic and the condenser microphones. And I connected it uh, here and I tested the, the sensitivity of the preamps and the dynamic microphone. I had to turn the volume up pretty high and with the condenser, uh, because it has a phantom power and the condenser is generally more sensitive. I had it uh, almost, so I had to be careful not to put it too high because then it could start like clipping. So watch out for that. And finally, I used this old school Yamaha 
uh, musical instrument to test the instrument uh, input of the mixer. And here there as well, the mixer performed really nicely. You could see that uh, the instrument input is also really nice and sensitive. So I don't think you're gonna have any issues there. And I also quickly walk you to the compression feature, which is super useful, um, especially for voice. Uh, I showed you software and everything. So all in all, I'm really, really surprised about uh, what value this mixer delivers to lots and lots of people for this entry level price. I mean, the quality, like look how nice this looks. Um, at the end of the day, like it, it depends on your scenario, what exactly you want to, you want to do with it. Um, but if you think about it, some people, they might just use it as a sound card and as an external, external sound card, maybe uh, for, uh, for playing Counter-Strike or whatever. I mean, and others, they might do use it for pro product reviews like me. So they're like really like, Lots of different use scenarios, and Yamaha has really managed to put um, a lot of punch, a lot of power into this small package, and uh, it provides you with a lot of versatility. So with that, I would be happy to welcome you as a subscriber of my Create Success TV YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, I have a lot of more useful videos that a lot of people enjoy already, and I got a lot of comments and likes for that. So make sure to check out these other videos as well. And let me know in the comments below what other type of content you would like to see. Up to now, I produce like uh, audio gear and video equipment and how to create your own website. Maybe you want to learn more about online advertising or how to make money online. And uh, yeah, maybe you have already enrolled in my free online course and I have you as a student. And uh, I hope to you have a lot of fun and a great week. And maybe you join the create the global create success TV community because the success that people create together equals more than the sum of their parts. And with that, I see you in the next video. Take care.